Welcome to iLearn2. In this video, we are going to look at how we support schools with learning, teaching and assessing primary computing. The starting point for iLearn2 is the progression of skills page. This is our suggested teaching sequence for each year group, helping teachers and schools map out the delivery of computing to achieve full curriculum coverage and progression. The progression page is found in the navigation menu here you will find the suggested activity pack titles that are listed below each year group, along with the approximate time each will take. The titles are colour coded to highlight which of the three aspects of learning the activities cover. Computer science, which are the programming skills, are in orange. Information technology, which are more traditional computing skills, such as word processing, are in purple. And digital literacy, which includes e-safety, are in green. Each title drops down to show the progression of skills within the pack and the curriculum content covered. The skills also develop from year to year. For example, Year 3 pupils will develop their scratch programming skills they begun in Year 2. Year 5 will develop their data handling skills they started in Year 4 and so forth. It is important to tailor and adapt iLearn2 for your pupils and their needs. For example, the prior learning and their experiences. If Year 6 have never done programming in Scratch before, then it is suggested to start with the Year 3 to 5 Scratch packs. For schools that have mixed age classes, we can also suggest an alternative sequence on a rolling two-year programme. Please get in touch and we would be happy to help you map out iLearn2 for your school's needs. The activity packs, when viewed from the teacher login, provide all the information teachers will need to deliver the different skills. This includes suggested teacher input, often as a video to watch with the pupils, differentiation advice, all the software and resources needed, the pupil activities and assessment materials. We will look at the pupil activities and assessment in detail shortly. Each pack uses different software or websites, which are free or that schools will already use. Where required, the teacher notes demonstrate how to create accounts for the websites covered and pupil logins where necessary. We do not use websites where pupils will need an email address. Schools are using different computer hardware and operating systems, so we have chosen software that works across all devices. Some of the packs include multiple video tutorials for the same activity, allowing pupils to choose the tutorial for the device they're using, whether it be a Windows computer, Apple iPad or Google Chromebook. Many activity packs include tutorials for Microsoft Office the Apple iWork apps and Google Docs. You will see how these work in some of the free packs, such as the Year 5 app design and Year 6 graphic design. It also works the same in the Year 3 document creation for different word processors and data handling packs using the spreadsheet software. There are also other useful resources for teachers across the packs, including pupil certificates, knowledge organisers, help sheets, prim resources in the Scratch programming packs, posters and more. If your school wants to teach cross-curricular computing, then the embed section includes over 100 ideas on how our activities can be adapted or used with different subject areas and topics. Drop-down menus help find lesson ideas and examples. We are teachers, so these have all been taught successfully and tested in school. There is also a search tool for teachers who are looking for activities for a certain piece of software, skill or curriculum aspect. For schools who are using the government's Education for a Connected World framework, we have an interactive page found in the eSafety activity packs. This matches our eSafety, internet research and other resources with the eight areas across the two age ranges and many of the outcomes within them. The key to iLearn2 is the pupil activity packs, which allow pupils to work at their own pace, watching the short video tutorials, then try the skills and challenges independently. These activities can be accessed easily by pupils at school or home. Most importantly, the activities are fun and engaging, introducing and developing important skills that pupils often wish to continue beyond their computing lessons. The pupil activities can firstly be seen from the teacher view of the activity pack to help with planning. Many teachers also use the pupil videos to help with the teacher input and watch the tutorials together with pupils first before the pupils try the skills themselves. Pupils access the individual pupil activity pages using a four-digit code 
Each pupil activity pack has one, so there are no logins to make for pupils to access iLearn2. These codes can be found in the teacher notes for each activity pack. Pupils type them into the activity code section on the home screen to go to the allocated activity. Some activity packs have more than one pupil activity, such as the Scratch programming packs and the Year 4 3D design. The codes are linked to your school or teacher account in order to monitor usage. The video tutorials support Google's live caption tool, which automatically adds audio descriptions to a video when viewed on Google Chrome browser on a desktop or laptop. This helps pupils with hearing difficulties, but also when there are no headphones available. This can be turned on in the Google Chrome browser by clicking the three dots in the corner choosing Settings, then Advanced, Accessibility, and then Turn on Live Caption. The teacher view of each pack also includes assessment resources. Firstly, in most packs, there is a downloadable assessment grid spreadsheet. This can be opened in Excel or other spreadsheet software and includes the skills for the pack down the left side and room at the top to type the pupil names. Teachers can type one, for skills achieved, two for achieved with support, and three for not achieved. The box turns a colour to make it easier to see the trends. These descriptors could also be changed to suit your own assessment policy. There are also many downloadable and printable activities that can help with assessment and to show knowledge and application of vocabulary. These resources include the answers on a separate page to help with marking, some schools use these at the end of an activity and others collate them and use them as end of year assessments. Computing does not stand still, so iLearn2 is updated every week. Finally, through the chat widget, we can provide support for teachers and schools with delivering each activity pack and answer any questions you may have.